desserts, but for some people that suffer from food allergies, being able to enjoy the treats, it's a little bit harder. But luckily, Rihanna's in the kitchen with one food pro who's showing us how to make a delicious and allergy-free dessert. It's all in today's Better Bites. Thanks, Audra. I'm here with Elizabeth Gordon, allergy-free food expert, baker, and author of the new cookbook, Allergy-Free Desserts. Now, in your new cookbook, you're sharing recipes that have no gluten, no dairy, no eggs, no soy, and no nuts. How can they possibly still taste good? Well, it's a secret, and I'm going to share that with you today. On That's set. great. How many recipes are in your new book? There are about 88 recipes with 44 color shots of all of them in the book. That's great, and we're going to do a pineapple upside-down cake, a lot yes. of people's favorite recipe. We're going to show the easy way to do it. Yes. Okay, so first of all, you've already prepared this pan. What's in here? I melted some organic palm fruit oil shortening in the bottom of the pan to substitute for butter and then coated that with some dark brown sugar to make it nice and flavorful and syrupy when it bakes. And then I'm going to have you, if you wouldn't mind, make the traditional lattice work with the pineapples and the cherries in the center. Putting me to work. I love it. Okay, so you just put the pineapples in just here. Just like that. And then the cherries in the center. And while you're doing that, I'm going to make what I would call my buttermilk substitute. It's just rice milk mixed with um, three quarters of a teaspoon of cider vinegar. And we do that so that it activates the leavening agent that we'll talk about in one second. And then in addition to that, I've also, before we started, I made an egg substitute, which is flaxseed meal mixed with three tablespoons of water. Now, what is flaxseed? Flaxseed is actually really, really good for you. It's full of omega-3 fatty acids, so it's great for the heart, great for the skin. And when mixed with water, the ground flax seeds um, become really viscous, sort of like an egg white. Mm. So it's a great replacement in baking. Now you can't use these to make scrambled eggs, <laughs> but <laughs> it works really well in a cake. Okay. So here we go. We've got that. So now, um, before we got started, I also prepared all of our dry ingredients in my mixer bowl. And I mixed it with some organic palm fruit oil shortening. Um, the dry ingredients that we're using today in place of traditional flour are garbanzo bean flour, tapioca flour, and potato starch. And I'm going to mix those together with the most important ingredient in gluten-free baking, which is xanthan gum. And what is that exactly? This takes the place of gluten in, you know, in a gluten-free recipe. And it's going to make the cake um, develop a nice crumb and be fluffy, whereas if we didn't use it instead, it would be kind of goopy and Ooh. like a puddle. <laughs> we don't want Not goopy. Good. Okay, no. so we're going to mix all this up yes, together? Yes, we are. So now we add the buttermilk, the flaxseed mixture, vanilla, and mix it all up for about two minutes. Once this is all on here spread out, how long do we want to bake this for and at what temperature? We're going to bake it at 350 for 30 minutes or until a toothpick inserted in the center comes out clean, just like any other cake. Easy enough. Okay, and so this is the finished product. When it comes out, we have to remind people the you know, it is an upside down cake. So, so you flip it. You have to flip it. <laughs> okay, we've already flipped this one. And I'm going to try this, but as I'm trying this, I want to know, for people that do not have allergies to nuts or eggs or dairy, will they still enjoy these recipes? I think they will. You know, I made this last night for my husband, and he took a bite, and he said, you know, I could actually eat 12 of these cakes. This is really good. And um, really, I tested all the recipes with my friends to make sure that they would eat <laughs> That's them, a hard too. job. <laughs> and I thought, you know, if it passed the friend test, then I think the general public will like them too. Well, thank you so much. It tastes delicious. It tastes Thanks. just like a normal pineapple upside down cake, if you can believe that. And Audra, Elizabeth says these are great recipes to make for your child's school, just in case any of the kids have allergies. It looks delicious. And Elizabeth wants to remind people that just because it's allergy free doesn't mean it's calorie free. Her tasty desserts require portion control just as much as the regular kind do. And if you want to try the pineapple upside down cake recipe, you can go to our website, Better TV. Com. And if you want a stockpile of recipes, check out Elizabeth Gordon's book, Allergy-Free Desserts, which is available on Amazon.com.